I'm Brent Roberts. It's my wife Carrie, and just I look exhausted because I just got back from a two-week trip to Kenya. Um, I work for an organization called Love Africa Mission. We send right now about 150 uh, people to five different countries in Africa to serve the local church there to serve, serve local ministries. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, I um, I grew up here. Went to Lonnie B. Nelson and Yale Wright Middle School and Spring Valley High School. Uh, when I was 15 years old, though, the Lord really got a hold of my heart. Uh, after high school, I went to University of South Carolina, uh, majored in business, started going to First Baptist Church Columbia, and that's where I met Carrie. I, I grew up in Florence, South Carolina. I came to Columbia to go to college. I went to Columbia College, majored in vocal performance, and as Brent said, when I was in college, I got connected with the college ministry at First Baptist downtown, and that's where we met. And so I was a um, ballet dancer and a singer and, you know, chorus nerd in high school. And um, and so same thing when I came to college. I came, I came first as a double major in dance and music, and I decided to go ahead and pursue a master's degree after that. I, ever since I can remember, I always wanted to marry someone who could sing, I don't know why. I think God had put that in my heart to bring me to her. She doesn't sing to me at home. Um, I get that question like- Except for I sing, it's all about you, yeah. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> Married our, in the middle of our senior year of, of undergraduate. Um, we, we had our first child after we were married two years and we were just kind of rolling along until this guy said to me, have you ever thought about adoption? He had been to Kenya on a mission trip with Teen Missions International the year after he graduated high school. But ever since then, he had always thought about and dreamed about adopting a child from Africa. One day we were at church and the pastor that day was preaching and he started talking about Zambia and he started talking about adoption in Zambia and how, it was just kind of a side note to the sermon, how you can't even adopt a child in Zambia unless you go live there because of the HIV AIDS pandemic. And we came home from church that day and we were standing in the kitchen and Brent said to me, what do you think about living in Africa for a couple years so that we could adopt a child? And it was like, you would expect my reaction to be like, what? <laughs> but it wasn't, it was just kind of like, huh. That would be interesting. And that's kind of where it all started. So we arrived in Zambia in February of 2008. And two months later, um, we had the surprise of the year in that we discovered we were pregnant. Yeah, so when we were, when we were in Zambia, we had actually talked about not coming home. To have Ellie, and we were—I I was pretty adamant. Six months into the pregnancy, God had just worked on my heart with this. I had this sense, like, no, we need to go home and have this baby. Ellie was born on December twenty-second, two thousand eight, and she was perfect and healthy, and the delivery was easy. Two weeks later, I started feeling really weird, and um, long story short, um, I actually had a stroke. So as a 31-year-old, otherwise healthy person, um, to have a doctor come in and say, you have a blood clot in your brain and you've had a stroke. I remember asking the doctor, like, okay, you know, be, be straight with me. Like, how serious is this? He said, basically, she can die. And for whatever reason, God in His mercy healed me. Um, I had pictures from my MRIs where um, I had white spots on my brain and the blood, you could see where the blood clot was in the vessel. And the neurologist said, you know, th these are white spots indicate damage from the stroke and those will be there for the rest of your life. People came and prayed over me and, and we asked God for healing and 
and I, I mean, I got better, and, and three months later we went in for the, the scan, and when I went into the neurologist's office, he pulled up the images and he said, you know, I don't understand this. The white spots are gone. He pulled up the other one and he said, you know, this shouldn't be this way. I, don't, I can't find it. And he said, and he showed me the vessel where the, the blood clot had been, and he said, if I didn't know what had happened to you, I would never be able to tell you that there was a blood clot here. This little boy at an orphanage nearby that we really felt like the Lord was calling us to, uh, to add to our family. We adopted Thomas. He was, at the time he was seven years old. The Lord called our family and another family out of Action Zambia to start a ministry um, in the bush in a place called Mazabuka. In, in 2014, after spending three years in the bush, God just began to move our lot, our family in a new direction. We sensed that He was calling us back to the states. We didn't know why. Carrie really, I think, flourished early when we came back, and I think, and I was excited and happy for that. Um, I did. I struggled with what's what's next. And so I, I just started praying. You know, Lord, I know that there's something out there that You have for him that will incorporate all the things that he's great at. When I were talking, I was like, look, I don't know what's next, but I really feel like the Lord's bringing me into a new season now. Um, I believe that he's calling me back into ministry. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I don't know where I'm gonna land. Um, and that's when Carrie goes, hold on, here we, here we go. <laughs> so that later in the year though, a friend of mine, uh, Nathan Smith, who I've known since high school, he, he has a ministry called Love Africa Mission. And he called me up and asked me if I would consider serving on their board. Kind of near the end of the year, Nathan and I were talking, I was just like, look, my heart is, is for this ministry. My heart is in Africa. Um, let's talk about, instead of me serving on the board, uh, can we talk about me joining Love Africa uh, to serve in a leadership role and, um, and to, to do that as a full-time job. This year I came on staff with Love Africa Mission as their Chief Operations Officer. Uh, really have been given the reins to, to help shape the ministry going forward. Uh, right now they, as I said before, Love Africa sends about 150 uh, people to five different countries in Africa over the summer. Um, Kenya, Rwanda, Uganda, Zimbabwe, and Zambia. Uh, the, the thing that I love about this ministry is it has impact in two ways. Um, impact in terms of the people that are going on these trips. Um, we're, you know, we try to focus on the work that's being done in the team as much as the work that's being done through the team. We are having impact in the communities we're working, but we're also having people come home to the states that their life's been changed because of, they've now experienced the Lord in a completely different culture. They've seen someone who struggles with being the poorest of the poor have joy in the Lord in the midst of those situations. And they're coming home and now they're saying, well, how can, how can I use what I've learned to impact my community? You know, I'm, we also, our desire is to see those same people say, maybe God's calling me in the missions. Maybe God's calling me in a cross-cultural vocation. Um, that for me, the reason I'm passionate about it is a two-week trip to Kenya in 1995 when I'm a senior in high school really set the trajectory for our family. Um, we, that one trip seared Africa on my heart. And that one trip led to our family moving to Africa, living in Zambia for seven years and serving the local church there. Um, and it's really set the trajectory where we are now. So it's, um, it's just a really awesome ministry to be a part of and I'm 
super excited uh, to get to connect people with a place that I love dearly. Thank you.